Hi, my name is David. I'd like to welcome you to the second tutorial on Illustrator Basics. In this tutorial I'd like to show you how to properly use guys, how to benefit from them, um, how to add them, how to delete them, and uh, at, the, um, at the end of the tutorial I'm going to show you two ways of uh, marking the center point of an artboard. Okay, first of all, in order to bring out the guides, we need to bring out our rulers. And there are two ways of bringing out the rulers. The first one is to simply hit the combination or keyboard of Control R, like so. And as you can see, we have a ruler on top and we have a ruler on the left. The other way of uh, turning the, the rulers on is to simply go into the View menu. As you can see, there is the submenu Rulers and there's the hide rulers. Well, now it says hide rulers because we have them on. As you can see, it um, tells us the shortcut for this is Control R uh, because it's a toggle. So whenever we hit uh, Control R, we're going to show or hide the rulers. Uh, from the view menu, we can also hide and show our guides. And as you can see, we have a sub menu for that. And here's the hide guides uh, function. And the shortcut for this is control semi semicolon. And it's also a toggle. So whenever we hit uh, control semicolon, we're going to show or um, hide the guides. Um, by default, uh, the guides are set to be visible. So we're not going to touch this um, submenu right here, we're going to off-click and we are going to bring out our guides. So in order to do this we have to go to our ruler, in this case our vertical ruler, we're going to click and drag. We're going to drag drag the guide and as you can see this is our guide. So the same thing is uh, with, um, with the horizontal ruler. So we're just going to simply click and bring down, bring down the guide. Um, now, the shortcuts that I mentioned. Right now our rulers are, are locked, so whenever I want to move this ruler I simply cannot because they are locked and they are locked by default. Uh, if you want to see, if you want to check if they are actually locked, you can simply go to the view menu, go to guides, and as you can see the log guides is on and the shortcut for this is alt control semicolon so whenever the, the, the guides are locked we cannot manipulate them so let's use our um, combination of control alt semicolon in order to unlock the guides so let's see I just hit control alt semicolon so let's go to the view menu and actually check if, if the guides are unlocked. As you can see, they are unlocked, so now we can simply move the guides around. We can move the guides around, but I usually don't recommend doing this um, like this by hand. I'm going to show you later on nice techniques in order uh, how to uh, move them the right, the proper way, in order so you don't get confused and your workflow is uh, nice and sweet and precise, most of all. I'm going to lock my guides again. Okay, so now our guides are brought up um, and I'm going to share with you one method that I use when I'm working with guides. Um, I usually put my guides on a separate layer, so I usually go to the layers uh, panel. As you can see I have a, one layer here and I usually just double click here and name it and name it guides. In this way I have two ways of controlling my guides. I can uh, always lock the whole layer in order to lock my guides and I'm in, uh, as you can see I can't do anything on this layer or I simply use the combination of uh, control alt semicolon as I showed you before I can move my guides right now I just use the combination control alt uh, semicolon now if you don't like uh, the color of your guides you can always uh, change it by going to the um, preferences menu and I usually do it uh, by hitting the combination of control K on my keyboard and as you can see I'm, on in, I'm in preferences right here you can of course also go to edit menu preferences and as you can see the shortcut uh, control K uh, gives us the general preferences but we're concerned with guides and grid in this case. So from this menu, if you wish, 
you could change the color of your guides so I don't know, I'm, we're gonna change it to say magenta you can also change the style from lines to dots but I usually, uh, usually use the lines because they are simply more visible so if you want you can change the color of your guides to any of these colors I'm gonna go with magenta and as you can see the guides now changed uh, their color uh, to magenta guides don't have to be just uh, these straight uh, vertical and horizontal lines you can uh, well practically turn anything into guides so let's just clean uh, clean our artboard for a second let's go to view menu let's go to guides and let's click clear guides this way we have our guides cleared and as, as I said we can turn any any, any shape into guides if you want to have uh, rectangular guides you can do that if you want to have circular guides you can do that if you want your star to be to be your guides you can do that so let's see how to do this uh, we have to go to say our um, shapes menu shapes palette and I'll choose I'll choose an ellipse tool I could of course use um, the L key in order to invoke my uh, ellipse tool. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm simply gonna hold down the shift key and click and drag in order to create a nice uh, symmetrical uh, ellipse, uh, well, a circle. So this is my circle. Circle. I'm gonna hit the D key in order to um, set the default uh, fill and stroke color, which is white and black. I hit the D key and now I want to turn these I want to turn this guy this circle into guides so I'm gonna go to view menu again I'm gonna go to guides guides and I'm gonna hit make guides as you can see I have my guides right here and they're in color uh, they're in magenta color because we set them to be uh, in magenta color um, let's do another one let's go to stay star tool I'm gonna move my uh, artboard a bit to the left and I'm doing that by the way by holding down uh, the spacebar key and it turns it to, into a hand tool and a clicking and dragging so it's spacebar click and drag I'm gonna hold down the shift key and create a star oh, something like so and I'm again gonna go to view menu guides make guides and as you can see now I have my well star shaped guides I can also have very very irregular uh, guides irregular in shape I'm gonna go to my um, say pen tool and I'm gonna draw something something fairly irregular uh, something like this and now again I'm gonna go to view menu guides and make guides and I've just turned that irregular line irregular shape into into guides so you can basically turn anything uh, any shape you want into guides into guides uh, if you simply wish so now I promised you before that we are going to learn two methods of uh, marking a center point uh, on our artboard the first method uh, uses the um, the rectangular grid tool the rectangular grid tool lies here in this uh, flyout menu under the line segment tool and it's this guy right here rectangular grid tool but before we do this we have to um, keep in mind two values first of all we have to check the width and height of our artboard and how do we do this we simply need to go to the document setup here here at the top then we have to go to edit artboards and our control panel gives us many many useful information um, throughout this uh, series of tutorials I'm gonna be I'm gonna be referring to this control top panel quite a lot because it helps helps a lot in this case what we need are our values of width and our height so my width is 600 pixels and my height is 400 pixels now I'm gonna escape from this I'm gonna hit the escape key twice now we can check these values uh, also by going to the artboard tool which lies here in the uh, in our panel left panel and the shortcut for this is shift O so whenever we whenever we make it active um, we can see our values of height and width and also um, some other useful information but we're gonna talk about them a bit later on so I'm gonna escape from this so now since we know that our width uh, uh, is 600 pixels and our height is 400 pixels we're simply gonna go to our uh, rectangular grid tool 
Now, the way this tool works is whenever we click somewhere on our artboard, we're going to be presented with, um, with this dialog box. So, as you can see, I've already set my uh, width to be 600 and my height to be 400 pixels. What's important is that we have to set our number of horizontal and vertical dividers to 1. Now, if we set something some, something more than one, we'd have well a bigger number of uh, of dividers. But in this case, we simply need uh, we simply need uh, one uh, horizontal and one vertical divider. So I'm gonna hit OK. So as you can see, uh, I've created uh, four rectangles. So now I'm gonna go. Now I'm gonna go back to my top panel, and as you can see, right up here we have our X and Y values, and these uh, these values uh, represent the position of our uh, of our uh, shape, um, our artwork on our artboard. Now these values up here, the X and Y value, um, correspond to something that is called the reference point, and it's it's here on the left. So uh, it measures. Uh, the X position of our shape and the Y position, so our um, horizontal and our vertical position, um, in accordance, in reference to this uh, reference point. So now it's measuring to the top left point. It can be measuring from the center point, as you can see right here. It can measure from the top right point, as you can see right here. It uh, the, the values have changed, but we're concerned with, uh, we're interested in top left uh, point. So we want this. Um, we want this grid to be exactly uh, well to start exactly from the from, from the zero zero x and, and zero y value from from the top left corner. So we want our grid to measure exactly from the top left corner right here. So we have to simply insert zero for x value and zero for y value. And as you can see, our rectangular grid uh, beautifully moved uh, to the top uh, top left uh, corner. Now what we have to do is to simply um, create or make guides from this grid that we've created. And we already know how to do this. We will simply go to View menu, Guides, and make guides. And just like that we've, uh, we've created guides that intersect exactly in the center point of our artboard. Now, if you don't want to see these guides, these guides right here, uh, you can always just simply delete them by hitting delete or backspace key, and but making sure that our guides are not locked. They are not locked right now, we so we can simply delete our guides. So I'm gonna mark these around, and I'm gonna hit delete key. I'm gonna mark this uh, bottom right corner, and I'm gonna delete these as well. N never forget to, to log the guides after you unlock them and manipul manipulated them. So I'm gonna hit the combination of Control Alt semicolon, and thus I've just locked my guides. See, I, ca I cannot do anything with them. Now the second method that I tend to use uh, tend to use the most will require uh, the usage of the top control panel as well. Before we start, remember to have your guides unlocked. So we'll check it by going to the view view menu. You, guides, and we can see that our guides uh, are not locked. Okay, so what we have to do is to bring our uh, vertical and horizontal guide, something like so. Now, as you can remember, uh, our artboard is 600 across and 400 down. So what we have to do is to uh, mark the um, the vertical uh, guide first. And as you can see, here are the X and Y values uh, for the position of this guide. As you can see right now, our guide is uh, at, uh, so at something around 283 uh, po pixels across. So what we have to do is to simply enter our um, width um, of our artboard. So we're going to enter 600 and we're going to divide it by 2. And um, this is a really nice trick in the Illustrator. You can do simple maths uh, around Illustrator in many dialog boxes. So whenever you want to be precise, whenever you want to have some uh, precise calculations, it's best to simply let Illustrator do the heavy lifting, do the maths for us. So I'm gonna uh, hit uh, answer in order to let Illustrator do the calculations for me. And as you can see, it changed. It calculated that 600 divided by 2 is 300. Well, that's, that's fairly easy, uh, 
but you know this applies to to any sort of any sort of calculations if my artboard was like uh, i don't know 753 in width uh, whenever i uh, simply divided or let illustrator divide it by 2 it would give me the exact uh, the exact number so that's 300 so we're going to do exactly the same thing with our um, horizontal guide but we're going to focus on the y key because our um our uh, horizontal guide moves uh, moves along the y the y axis so we remember that our um, height the height of our artboard was 400 pixels so we're going to go 400 and divide it by 2 hit enter and like that we simply we have our uh, center point of our artboard uh, marked so that uh, wraps it up for this tutorial i hope you learned a thing or two i hope you enjoyed it i know i did so stay tuned for the next tutorial